Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to remix your vocals in BandLab. Okay, so this first remix that I'm going to do is what I call the stutter. So I'm going to take the beginning of a word and repeat it several times. So first I'm going to use a pinch out motion to zoom in on the track. This orange track is my vocals. I love. I'm going to take that word love and I'm going to chop it up so it goes le, 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 love. Something like that. In the gap between this word love. love you. And the word you. So I'm going to move this track position marker to the beginning of the word love. Now one thing that I will say at this point, if you tap on the settings icon, make sure the snap to grid is switched on. Because when you start editing the vocal track and you start making duplicates or you start moving the vocals around, you want to make sure you keep them in time with the music. And it's much easier to do that if the snap to grid is on. So if you look at the top of the track position marker, you'll see that it actually lines up with the beginning of the second bar. And now I'll tap on the vocal recording and tap on the slice icon. Then I'm going to move the track position marker to the beginning of the next word, which is about there. But I don't want to clip the beginning. If I leave that track position marker there, I'll clip the beginning of that word. So I'm going to move it back to the next dot. Let's zoom in a bit more there. So I can bring this dot up. I want to get to that one. Just there. Then I'm going to tap on the vocal track again and tap on the splice icon. Now I just want a very small part of this word love. So I'm going to move the track position marker just a little way into this word love. And then I'm going to tap on the vocal track again and tap on slice. Now the section after the slice I'm going to tap on and I'm going to tap on delete. Now that doesn't actually completely delete that section because if I was to take the end of the track recording and drag it to the right, you'll see that that part of the track vocals is still there. So now I'm going to tap on this section of love that I've got left. Actually, first I'm going to play it just to see that it's the right amount. Yeah, that's that's about right. I'm going to tap on that section of recording. Then I'm going to tap on the copy icon. Then I'm going to move the track position marker. So it lines up with one of the markers on the ruler. And then I'm going to tap on the blank area of the track and tap on paste. I'll just play that to see whether I've got my distance right. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to move it a bit further down and do another one. Tap on it and tap on paste. Now I haven't really got space to do a third one, so I'm going to drag the end of this second repeat so that I get the rest of the word back again. So we get this effect. Which is kind of good, but it's quite abrupt. So I'm going to take the ends of these smaller sections and I'm going to drag them out to meet the next section. And then I'm going to tap on it. Then I'm going to tap on the three dots. Then I'm going to tap on fade. And I'm going to drag this fade back along the bottom and drag the right dot to the left until it's about three quarters of the way along the line and then tap on the tick icon. Now if I play that, it's much more pleasant. So I'm going to do the same with the other section. Drag the end, tap on it, tap on the three dots, tap on fade, and then at the bottom of the screen, drag the right dot towards the left until I've got about three quarters again. Tap on the tick icon, 
Now if I play that, let's go back to the beginning, we'll see what it's all like now. Because I love, love, love you. And that is how to remix with a stutter. Now the other remix that I'm going to do in this video is what I call the riser. So I'm going to move along to the word after the love bit, which is this you word. You. I'm going to the end of the word. And it's cut at the beginning. I'm just going to check here. It's cut at the beginning. Uh, if you look at the ruler, it's on one of the smaller lines just before the larger line. And the larger line is where each beat starts. So when I cut it at the end, I'm going to drag the track position marker down to the end of the, of the bar, which is there. But I'm going to go back one. So it's the positioning of the line is equal to what the positioning of the line is, or the cut is at the beginning. So if I tap on that now and tap on slice, what I've actually created is a sample that's exactly one bar long. Now I'm going to tap on the section after it because there is no other words or anything along that section. So I'm going to delete that. And now that because my word is one bar long, I can just tap on it, then tap on the copy icon. Then I can just move the track position marker to the end of this section. Tap on the blank area of the track and tap on paste. And I'm going to do that two more times. I'm just going to use a pinch motion to zoom back out again, just so we can see things a little bit easier here. Now, because I made each one of these sections one bar long, and I put a duplicate behind the original, right up behind it, and do the same with the other duplicates, I know they're going to be in time with the music. Now to create this rising sound, well, let's see, at the moment we've got this. You, 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 you. But I want to do this as a riser. So I'm going to click on the first duplicate. Then I'm going to click on the three dots. Then I'm going to click on transpose. And at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to drag the dot to the right until it says four semitones above the line. And then I'm going to click on the next duplicate, tap on the three dots, tap on transpose. And this time I'm going to drag the dot on the line at the bottom of the screen to the right until it says seven semitones. Then tap on the tick icon. And then for the last one, I'm going to tap on that, tap on the three dots, tap on transpose. And then I'm going to drag the dot at the bottom of the screen to the right until it says 12 semitones. Then tap on the tick icon. So what I've done there is change the pitch of the three duplicates. So one of them is four semitones higher, one is seven semitones higher, and one is 12 semitones higher. And the reason for doing that is because that positions each at a pitch, which is in the same chord as the original sound. So it will fit nicely into the music because it uses the same chord notes as the song. Because I love, love, love you. You, you, you. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.